Linux users need to have an alternative to iOS and Android, which is why I'm exploring my options this year. Here we have the latest, which is the PinePhone Beta Edition. It's something I purchased last summer, and recently I've received a request to attempt using this phone as a desktop. In my PinePhone 100 Days Later video, I was using the default operating system of Manjaro Arm with Plasma Mobile. Since then, I've purchased a second PinePhone, and even though this new phone also uses Manjaro Arm, it is a newer version. For the past week, I've been using this phone as a desktop, and this is made possible thanks to the Convergence package. In a nutshell, this device here on the screen basically serves as a hub between the phone, the keyboard, the mouse, and the charger. There is also a port for Ethernet, but today I'm using the phone's internal Wi-Fi radio. Now, if you're subscribed, you may have seen me do this a week ago, and back then that was the same phone using a different operating system. This time around also went pretty well, with a couple of caveats. On the plus side, I did not need to install any special software. Really, I've just done a couple of routine updates, and nothing out of the ordinary. This operating system is installed on the phone's internal eMMC memory, so it's going to run faster than if I had installed it to the microSD card. The display settings are pretty easy to find. The only trouble is I can't find a way to truly extend the desktop, unlike the other operating system. So for example, if I want to move the mouse from one screen to the other, I haven't really found a way to do that, other than clicking the button in the lower left corner. If I want to drag a window from one screen to another, I run into the same problem, but this is easy to fix if you press the Windows button and then press an arrow key. Beyond that, it really does work like you would expect it to. Now, one problem I've had with both operating systems is the battery depletion. If I start using this configuration to do something video intensive, such as playing an HD video, the phone will start dissipating more power than the charger can supply. If I stop the activity and let the phone idle, then it's going to charge up again. Presently, I'm not sure if this is due to a hardware limitation or a software limitation. The processor for the PinePhone Beta Edition is the all-winner A53, which has a hardware video decoder. So far, all of my video viewing has been done through the Angelfish web browser, but I don't know if this browser is configured to use the hardware decoder. If it isn't, then it might be worth trying out if it means longer battery life. Like my earlier video, I did get a lot of video buffering anytime I tried to watch a HD video on YouTube, but this could be due to Wi-Fi congestion in my area. I plan to retest this using wired Ethernet, but in order to give this operating system a fair shake, I want to do a second video in the exact same location. So regarding the Megapixels app, which by the way is the one that runs the camera, if you encounter problems with this application and you're not sure what's going on, what I recommend doing is shutting down Megapixels, opening the console, and in the command line you can type in megapixels and then as the application launches the console is going to continue to print any warnings or errors that come from the camera application. If that doesn't quite do it for you or you're trying to do more general debugging another command you can try is journalctl-f and this is going to give you a general purpose event log. Anyway, after I briefly get back to Arduino and Raspberry Pi, I am planning to do at least four more videos on PinePhone, probably starting with the attachable keyboard and working up to the Lura wireless case. Once again, this is a small channel with limited resources and it is not made for the YouTube algorithm. The best you can do right now is to share the video or share your feedback. And just as a side note, this is my second year on Minds.com and Odyssey.com video. These two locations are where I post everything first, and I will also be sharing my impressions on both sites. Let me know if this covered what you're looking for, and I'll see you in the next one.